Alrighty. I think we're good. Uh, was it this one here? Yeah, okay. Um, oh. Let's just pause this for now then. No spoilers, you probably watched already. Only one thing was hype for you for both shows. I will say, I did get spoiled on the one thing just because I saw it on, on a. I saw apparently it was like a it was a it was already released same day they shadow dropped something, and some streamers that I watched have been playing it so that was one thing I was spoiled on I won't say anything though, and um, I imagine Sony they're probably gonna throw out some uh, what do you call it? I bet you they give you a little bit of more of a preview of um, FF Seven Rebirth right? Anyway, we'll start with Nintendo first right? What we're looking at today, boys. Okay, Splatty Tune. Nintendies Pog. How much? Did, how much DLC has this? Uh, have they popped up for this? This is probably like the second thing, right? Maybe? Garbage next. Oh, looks like they're doing some sort of like digital future age approach type of thing. I don't- I think seeing damage numbers is a new thing. I don't play the game, but... They're doing some sort of, some sort of like sci-fi thing. Anything is between you sleep? Dang. So, a new character. I mean. Floor selection. There's some sort of like climb the tower thing. Yeah, definitely going futuristic with this one. Oh, so we're all watching this for the first time. Side order. Patient gang for the win. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll Shinya be your son. guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon Side Order. I don't call your mom. <laughs> DLC, the Side Order. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to release in spring 2024, so please look forward to it. So this is like the final okay, bit of the DLC. Let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch Which headlines. means Splatoon 4 is on its way. Probably on the new system though. Ooh, okay. Toys are back Mario vs. DK? Donkey Kong. Now is this a remake or is this a Mario. new game entirely? The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. Maybe a, maybe a remake? With eyes on the prize, Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. This feels like a remake. It's up to Mario to track him down. In each and stage, it's not all the Mario this uh, holiday season await. or fall, fall slash holiday. Observation and action are vital to your success. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. What do you do? That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, I'm in there low with Mario after having a drought. I mean, that's I mean, that's when we're looking at it for sure. And safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip, like that. I remember playing this game back in the day. Observe and act 
to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. Okay. Well, However, we'll run you an online co-op. your way through. It's up to you. Nintendo to is an online co-op. Mario versus Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Need to be friends. Pre-orders <laughs> begin today on Nintendo eShop. Save the prince and the world. It's prince of Persia stuff. I like know nothing about these games that are like Guide Sargon being worked on. He sets <clears> off <throat> to save the prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. Oh, so he's not the prince. You're Tapping saving the, the prince. Of the Prince of Persia series. This game features 2D side-scrolling action adventure gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological Persian-inspired world. Sargon, these. But don't linger too long if you hope to survive. It's too easy. Harness sword and bow techniques. As well as time powers. To I do like the. I mean, I, they look side scrollers. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn I more. Might, I don't think I might expand his arsenal. Play, um, I know that Bloodstain happened to find its way onto perks. the uh, vote list. Maybe I might the play that after. Um, you can equip is limited. After so Trauma wisely. Center. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th, you can receive the in-game Warrior Within outfit by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. Pre-order now to get the Jake Gyllenhaal skin. He was gonna play that, that start in the movie, right? Your passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase. Horizon 2. Chase. Speed through stunning environments, each with its own dynamic art style, while overtaking your rivals on the road. Play the main campaign to unlock the Speaking vehicles, of which, I mean to get a, what do you call it? More. Cruise and Blast, like that new, that one game that they put out on Switch. To fit your high octane needs. Itching for more racing action? Up to four speedsters can put the pedal to the metal online. in couch co-op or online. Oh, there you go. Go full throttle there, there's the online. Horizon Chase 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Okay, Shadow Drop. This Warm wasn't the game that was spoiled on, though. mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Time your button presses Ooh. with the music to solve puzzles and I like rhythm bosses. games. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. Up to four very, friends very can battle DDR. out in versus modes, you spell the or game. jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh yeah, because the game was, was released today. Oh, okay. Anya Forger has a new assignment from school. I didn't even know they put out a game for a uh, Spy X family. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family you time. You made the mistake on going on Twitter. <laughs> on days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places. This like is cute. The beach or an art museum in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Mario's first okay. RPG adventure returns. Yeah, better look at the game, maybe. The Super Mario RPG game is I mean, back. Man, looks like they're having cutscenes in graphics. this. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. I'm more interested in the new stuff. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. When you time your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. What? I just kind of cheap Every already. This game is easy enough. This, the game is easy enough. Game. You don't need. You don't need that. When it's full, you can unleash the three-character triple move. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. That I like. I, I that I like. During your adventure, I know like a little super meter uh, in, in the first tra in the first trailer. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. Ooh, but rematches? These powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. I like that. Damn, booster with like this the, the kamikaze train. 
set off for adventure with Mario and friends. Yep, they, they tease the, uh, the uh, secret uh, Final Fantasy boss as well. You saw that, you saw that door. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Damn, this year. Hey. Uh, uh, I'll be in New York by then. Maybe I'll go to the midnight launch if there is one. <laughs> almost there. The Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the Nintendo Switch system as Anna. another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she this sets is a remake of a DS game? Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. So that's like the D. That's probably the DS part of it. Yeah. A g -g 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 ghost. See me. She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Hmm. Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures. I mean, it must be good for it to get uh, Switch, when another code recollection launches January to get uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, you know, a remake today on Nintendo eShop. I mean, I'm down for like puzzle games. Sure. Another code recollection <clears throat> includes two games: the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released in Wii North America. Wii sequel, okay. Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next year. Waiting for the hair raising goosebumps and during next, load blowing release right here. <laughs> oh, this is the Princess Peach game that they teased. One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then. How do I spoil it? They showed this up before. <laughs> I mean, what else would it be? And the sour bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the sour bunch. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Whoa, oh shit! She Peach cosplaying. Transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. By transforming, she can use fantastic show-stopping abilities. Fend off the Sour Bunch with sensational sword play. So I'm gonna go like Power play. of Emotions time around. <laughs> Can Peach save this performance and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become Detective Peach, investigate clues, and track down who done it. It's pretty interesting. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into patissier peach and save it from a sugar crush. So they're they're framing like state like like the plays as like levels in the game. I assume. Martial arts school become. So Princess peach, peach was just a uh, PMS simulator. <laughs> Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. I do like Chun Li Peach. Set, our leading lady mm. is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach, showtime! Makes its Can we get Bikini Peach? Switch, Maybe it's probably for like the, J the Japan release only. Begin today on Nintendo e Shop. You didn't get that in North America, unfortunately. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. 
In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga. Saga. <clears throat> A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. I only hear about these games. I don't know. I don't have any good. Any, of, any, any of you guys play these? Played a these before? Fights with sentient puppets. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime-fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Select a hero, then follow their journey through seven times completed worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. Jerry Parrish talked about a lot. No idea who that is. I assume he's a YouTuber. More than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles, turn based timeline combat, bi battles. Turn sounds like a live alive victory. thing. Use special techniques People to from different worlds joining together. Or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The Legendary Raider returns. Oh, they're bringing back Lara Croft, huh? The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are remastered on Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. As the fearless archaeologist, I should never play Croft, these games. I'm, I mean, I'm sure they're good. Face off against deadly foes and even deadlier legends. Climb, definitely an iconic character, right? And swan dive through perilous quests spanning different countries and now is when you say booba along the way. You'll solve puzzles to uncover I was gonna say they, the they, 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 they reshaped the, the, uh, the polygons. The of time. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original polygon look oh, there you and go. the upgraded visuals at any time. You want your, you want your square boobs? Oh, there you go. Three they got you, they got you covered. Croft launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today Crystal Dynamics, on Nintendo huh? eShop. The guys who did the, uh, the, uh, this detective's got a second the Avengers game. Brilliance. They knew, yeah, exactly. They know what their fans wanted. Every great detective starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo Honestly, they probably should have, like, I, I watched the, I watched the Poke Detective Tim Pikachu movie, it wasn't that bad, and I liked it. Investigate various I feel like... While searching for Harry, I feel like, Tim's uh, what do you call bother. it? Um... They definitely should have kept Ryan Reynolds, Tim though. Either Ryan Reynolds Pikachu or I was watching Pokemon the video where they put, um... The truth where they put in clips of Danny DeVito speaking, and They're I don't know why, it just works. Pokemon ...to broaden the scope of their investigations. Follow sense with Growlithe. Smash rocks so you with Darmanitan. Oh, you team up with Pokemon? I never played the original, so I don't know what makes it different. through walls with Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the uh, mysteries? Oh yeah, no, I don't think Embracer bought Crystal Dynamics. They're still, are, are they not still Find under, um... When Detective Pikachu are they not returns, still under, um... Launches on Nintendo Switch October Square? 6th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo It sounds like maybe Embracer bought that. I mean, that, that would sound right if that were the case, but I'm not too sure. This game's a real toot. I don't know if they did or not. Okay, yeah, so they're bringing us to Switch. Makes sense. Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Play the notes in time with the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. Tromboner. You can use gyro control. Fun fact, I played trombone in, uh, in high, uh, when I went, when I did band for like a year and a half in high school. Camera on the right Joy -Con oh god, they, they use motion controls, the controls for this? Interesting. Pretty unique. And mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs. And it is as funky genres, as you're seeing it. To electronica this is exactly what playing trombone is like, between. doing what you see there. Plus, up to four musicians can band together in local multiplayer. 
Trombone Champ slides onto oh, Nintendo Shadow Switch Drop two. later today. This is not a game I was spoiled on either, but I mean, this game already came out, so... Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. 10 teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. NC Soft. Help down to zero and deliver a finishing Didn't blow. Didn't you guys? <laughs> or shove them off the collapsing terrain. Well, thank you for win. sharing. Choose from 15 yeah, some of heroes each inspired by a different mythology. Actually? Work with your allies to be the last team standing. You should like maybe Battle feature like a trombone track in one of your in one of your next covers. On Nintendo Switch next spring. A closed beta test will be available this October. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a RPG, huh? console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Damn, they're just trying to, try to dropping so much run games. And gun oh god, in Contra? Reimagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Oh. Blast through explosive stages they're the original game? Arsenal of weapons to crush the I mean, I recognize Falcon that. Forces. But Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulties. There's no options. car level. This reimagining from Konami and Way Forward features new weapons. Oh, Way Forward also did, the, was involved. Powerful super attacks. Operation Galuga, I think. Four player co op mode. Contra. Operation Galuga. I mean, I'm sure it looks better Storm than what we see in the video because sometimes video doesn't really transit very well. Year. But hey, if it plays as, uh, as it does the original. Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your destiny. Dad would none himself. <laughs> Tell him, Dad, Operation Galuga's out or tale, coming out. Which speaks of Febrith, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet, as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again, ring of legend lighting his path. RPG? That is oh. the ring of the unicorn. Ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. That's on the fire it, emblem. Exchange, uh, you know, exchange new. there. Gather new allies, forge your bonds. And lead the liberation to glory. Gather victory. allies, forge bonds, Go watch them die, with rinse, and, <laughs> rinse and repeat. From humans and elves to massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, yeah, or even looks years. Kinda nice. But I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Remember that time I played Live Alive? Atlas, <laughs> yeah, it was a good time, it was fun. Present the rebirth of tactical Atlas. RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Available March 8th, 2024. I don't, I don't know what the title is, though, to be honest. Ah, uh, okay. They did tease this last direct. I'm not saying anything. Luigi's Mansion <laughs> 2 HD. But yeah, oh they're, oh, they're calling it 2 HD. Interesting, okay. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, Mega man. our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. The game was fine. It, was, it, was, it wasn't terrible. Mania. Definitely the weakest of the three, in my opinion, but... No spooky adventure is complete without this vacuum-like device. The Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas. I mean, it was a matter of time that they Vacuum brought the they brought this game over to like a more wider audience. Environment. It's a handy tool for Dude, I still gotta finish up the original uh, Dark Moon uh, D three DS release. Spot a ghost. Pop, I'm, work, I'm working on the multiplayer aspect, the catching all the ghosts. Then vacuum them up. 
You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find Ghosts Haunting, a former plant research lab, a broken down. I remember all of this. I remember sand, doing every a single mine bit here. In ice and snow, and even more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Do, 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 do. Looking for other ghost ah, there hunters? it is. Up to four players online can do some exercise across. I feel like with this release, it's gonna like kill my chance of finishing up the uh, original Luigi's game. Mansion 2 HD I hope not. Creeps on to Nintendo Switch next summer. Okay, we have a lot of time still. We got time still. How was that? I just have, have a few more online ghosts next, to find. The problem is they're they're just hard to share. find. It's all it's all completely random, right? First, please take a look at this video. Ooh, IRL stuff? Or really, really good graphics? I don't know, it could be either or. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. Oh, wow. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. I didn't know, know that was a thing. There's another reason for me to At go to Japan Nintendo now. Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be Architectural displayed. rendering. Construction is going well, and we plan to finish up by March 2024. In Kyoto, huh? Okay. We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Please stay tuned. I mean, if I want to go, Next, I mean, I, like I, I would like, I mean, yeah, I think that'd be a reason for me to go for figures. sure. The Zelda and Ganondorf amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. All right, Zelda and Hot Ganon. figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles Xenoblade 3, 3. will be released as a set on January 19th, 2024. And finally, we have a new amiibo figure to announce. Smash Bros. Show me Cloud. The no, DLC Sora. The fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora hey, there from he is. Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. The only one that I missed, for, I missed the Pyramithra one. That's oh god, Pyros were so shit else. here. Next, please take a look at this. I don't want to pay, I don't want to pay a premium for them. Hopefully they be released. Yeah, okay, this is what I got spoiled on. Zero game returns as a 99 player battle royale. Yeah, so they did uh, F -Zero they, they 99, 99 F Zero. It actually looks pretty fun to go. I'm not gonna lie. F Zero courses with machines from the original Super NES game. But I saw some streamers play this. I mean, it's obviously in their, their title. But be careful, your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. I mean, I'm sure it's not what the F Zero fans risky. wanted, but Spend I mean, some of your power meter for to be honest, it's not bad for a consolation boost. prize. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide, to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. Super it's your boost. Best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping into a higher position. Interesting. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. Dude, the music slaps in this game. 99 players, one winner. It's time to race your way to first place. It because is a bit more, yeah, it definitely is like, I mean, it's definitely a different type of racer Nintendo compared to like Mario Kart and other traditional kart racers. Today. More than 30 years after its original release, F-Zero is back as a battle royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller available exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Oh, I don't have NSO anymore. <laughs> we hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. One little hero, one humongous problem. 
Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. Portals break, it's up kill to you yordles. And your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials this is cute. and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together. This reminds me of that one other isometric game. Was it called Tunic? Tree. Enchant just, your I mean, just like just look the look of it. By embarking on quests pixelated. And was Tunic festivals pixelated? No, right? Uh, I can't remember anymore. Hold can on. Can you save Bandle City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Bandle Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Tunic Wait, game. Did you hear that? I finished Stardew. Yeah. Join best friends, new new. Okay, and Tunic Willa, was not. Across the frozen it's not pixel. It's not. It's not a, yeah. Jump. Pixelated. Climb, but the isometric stuff. Yeah. Led your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land. That game looks fun. I, I kind of want to play it too. Puzzle solved will bring you closer Maybe to down the, the road. truth about these friends. Yeah, no, Stardew's done a long time ago, my past. dude. I think I finished it before I was it before or after I left for the before I left for the Philippines after I came back I can't remember. begin today on Nintendo eShop. Can't remember. Let's move into formation. Play with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Greetings, welcome to the. I get shut on the pins. This tropical resort yeah, contains tons I'd say so. of micro games that'll get your body moving. A lot of good food there, so it's hard In to remember what game, I had. You get into a specific pose called a form. Copy the they form tease this the last uh, direct too. As quick as you can. So getting more into yeah, this feels more like the Wii version the now. Micro games will come the way you hold like the remote so look alive. represents like a form. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Online? Online? Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Free. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. Online? With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty, everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. I haven't made a DK country fold. since like 2014. When did um an army of over when did uh, Tropical Freeze like the Switch version come out? An end to an empire's invasion. Ooh, this is what I want to see. Heck Noah, yes. A humble villager. Sane, an officer from the Empire, and Marissa, a forest guardian. These three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. 100 of them. Known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to 2018, crops, yeah. open shops. I mean, obviously, more. they're going to count that as a new release, Each quote unquote. Encounter has their own backstory so technically five years on their on their calendar. <laughs> They may not Which sucks, always but... get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Damn, it's too intense. Betrayal, justice, and truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo April, Switch huh? April 23rd. Participate in some pixel-perfect play. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust I know what Eastward country is. life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock. Whip up culinary delights for your neighbors. Well, cute enough. And restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Get back into the groove. 
in this sequel to War Wargroove. Groove. Charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant know, factions, is. including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's groove to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally or online. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. Damn, RPG Maker. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. I did hear about this game, actually. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater so far world I sleep. to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver. Yeah, I mean, these games definitely aren't, definitely aren't for like everybody for sure. They all scratch specific, specific niches. E -shop later today. That's a life sim that respects your time, really. The final wave oh, here we go. In. The Here's last wave. What are we looking at? at Ooh, six, Daisy Circuit from Wii. Of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. Okay. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave Six. From the Mario Kart. Oh damn! Okay, game, Diddy's back. Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart Wii. Funky oh damn! There's Funky. There you go, Toad. Funky's here. From the Mario Kart oh, game, okay, and Pauline. Pauline. I mean, obviously, she. I mean, that, it was bad. It was a matter of time for her, to be honest. And also, Peachette. Peachette. Oh, right. <laughs> I don't remember where she was from. Wave six of the Mario. No, Kart show me Deluxe more stages. Course pass DLC Damn. for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch so it's a holiday release. Members can enjoy this DLC at no additional I can wrap up. I mean, rumors apparently is the, a new Switch is dump. coming out next year, or their Switch Two. It is the final one, yeah. Something new. Unless they some, for some us. reason drop, um, if they drop, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, you know, <laughs> season two or <laughs> booster pass two. Which honestly, I could see happening, but I think I mean the timing is right for a new Mario Kart to come alongside the new Switch is my thinking. I mean, if you think about it, they also stop they also stop adding or I think by October they're going to stop adding new content to Mario Kart Tour like the mobile game. So maybe they're focusing all their efforts on the new Mario Kart finally coming out on um with the new console. Yeah, I mean, I, I like to be optimistic. I mean, whatever happens, happens. I mean, I'm I already have so much games to play anyway, so no, uh, not a big deal, whichever way it goes, right? To be honest, the fungal. This new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. With all my games to play, I, I accumulated so well. <laughs> Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles. I mean, for one thing, it's like, from I mean, I'm not really picky about games I play Let's either, right? I know there's a lot of games I play that you're all like, yawn, move on, please. <laughs> Pick one and two. These are all upcoming, right? Yeah. Not to say anything about like, you know, people's particular taste. I mean, you know, you like what you like, whatever. I have more games than I wish I had like that amount of games. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. Maybe we'll see if I can find a job with, with some sort of video game historians or something. 
please take a look. Give me access to like a bigger trove of video games to stream. Ah, okay, okay. So they're doing a, uh... This is totally, uh... TTYD, yup, yup, yup. Okay, okay. Updated art style. Can't see it thoroughly bored with this. <laughs> I mean, hey, again. I mean... You know, and not everyone's gonna be happy, for sure. A lot of people are expecting bigger things. I think it's pretty nice, though. Especially for all the, uh... The, uh, diehards. Somewhat hype, yeah. Because you know, people, I mean, you know, with, with Paper Mario, the way it's going, like their styles and everything, everything's always like it's, like, it's like a new game essentially with like the different mechanics they do every time. So, I mean, this is nice for those who wanted like old school Paper Mario and a more modernized, uh, with a more modernized look. They really did blow their Mario load. They did. They really did. Honestly, I don't know if I would play the remaster. I have the original already. Unless they added, unless they, you know, add something that's really, like, huge. Or completely new that makes, makes it worth getting. But yeah, this is good, but then, this is good for those who, um... Who want it, right? And definitely there are people out there who want the, who wanted this kind of thing. Will I get Switch to launch? I don't know, to be honest. Gaming's got a lot more expensive. I mean, if, if it works out, hey, I'll, yeah, for sure. Bro, they're spoiling it. <laughs> they're spoiling the plot. I mean, I, re I played through this already, so... Paper Mario but I do want to play through it again. Door, just so I played it, just so I can say I can play it, just so I can say I played it on stream. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Okay. There you go. Thoughts? I mean... It wasn't like, nothing really like, you know, that blew my mind. It was all nice. Overall positive. I was a Wonder Direct, right? Yeah. A great choice you, guys are, you, guys, you guys watch this yet? I mean, I was watching this a while ago and then, you know, I really enjoyed the features that they're adding. Anyway, let me just quickly find the Sony one. I'm just hiding in case recommended videos spoil anything for for y'all. Do not understand why they're being choosy with the games they remaster? Why I skip Paper Mario One? True. I feel like I mean. I guess content-wise, compared to the first game, the second game had a lot more to offer. <clears throat> so, I mean... It'd be, nice if they, if they, it'd be nice if they did both of them, but I can understand why they chose uh, TTYD over the original game. Hopefully the Sony State of Play will make up for this. Damn. Well, here's hoping. I mean, I, I have a feeling... They're gonna show more FF7 Rebirth, right? They have to. Did it, was there any preamble to this? Focus on updates to previously announced games coming to PlayStation consoles from indie and PS2 VR, PSVR 2 to major upcoming titles from our third party partners. That sounds like Final Fantasy, alright. Okay, um. So then grab me a, a quick, uh. Quick snack to eat while you watch this. Give me like a, give me like a minute here.
One sec.